I'd like to welcome you all to Q City World and today we'll be talking about the legendary Lennox Lewis giving his thoughts on Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua. <laughs> If Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder wanted to fight each other next, Lynch Lewis believed they should have done more than they did to make the biggest boxing heavyweight fight happen. Lewis, who retired at WBC heavyweight champion 14 years ago, criticized Joshua and Wilder in a series of tweets he sent out Thursday. My thoughts on Anthony Joshua and Deontay Brown's bomber situations are that when I was champion, I wanted to face the best to show the world who's the best, period. Lewis stated in his first tweet, I heard them both speak on it. But I also seen that AJ has changed his tune. This isn't a two year down the line thing. Promoters have their own interest in making the most money they can, but fighters also carry what and who they fight. If both sides wanted this fight, it would be happening, end of story. AJ taking the preventing fight first isn't a deal breaker for Wilder. I just don't like them saying it's going to take two years to make this fight happen. But there you have it. Yesterday you had Tyson Fury apologizing. Deontay Wilder, I'll apologize on behalf of Eddie Earn and Anthony Joshua. For the fuckery. Today you got the legendary Lennox Lewis apologizing for the fuck. Lennox Lewis said he agreed with Anthony Joshua not wanting to fight him in the United States, being that what happened to him when he fought Evander Holyfield. He said he can understand that. But he is one of those fighters that want to fight the best fighters. He wanted to fight Riddick Bo. Riddick Bo threw the title in the trash can to avoid fighting Lennox Lewis. Lennox Lewis was like an Earl Spence back in his good days. Only thing about Lennox Lewis, he got knocked out unexpectedly and he still overcame that and became a great champion. The two losses he lost was against fighters that wasn't even the elitist fighters, you know. He just got caught slipping. And that's what I think that could happen if Eddie Hearns keep on playing around. You feel me? If Eddie Hearns keep playing with Anthony Joshua, he gonna end up getting caught off guard and knocked out by a journeyman, just like Lennox Lewis. See, what the UK fans don't understand and won't understand, why they wanna save AJ and do all that, they don't understand that they're killing boxing. Heavyweight division is the most important division in the sport of boxing. You know what I mean? It's very important. This was the time for this heavyweight division to shine. And, um, you know, the heavyweight division was popping so fucking much that that boy Tyson Fury got motivated, you know what I mean? Got back in shape, came out of retirement. He wanted to be in the mix, you know? But I don't think Tyson Fury is ready for Deontay Wilder right now. You know, I think he just, you know, I'm happy that he's calling him out and I'm happy that he's apologizing him for the behavior of Anthony Joshua, you know what I mean, and Crackhead Eddie. So we know that you got real cats in the UK. Everybody in the UK is not lame and corny. But you got to give a shout out to the legendary Tyson Fury for even calling Deontay Wilder out in a time when Deontay Wilder need a fight to stay motivated. But me being honest. I don't want to see Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury yet. I want that fight to be in a year. You feel me? But it's not what I want. It is what it is. If Deontay Wilder decides to fight Tyson Fury, it's going to be a good fight for the heavyweight division. And it's going to help out the heavyweight division. I like Tyson Fury, man. Tyson Fury is exclusive, man. He talks shit, man. He's what a boxer is. He's an entertainer, man. You feel me? This is an entertaining sport too, man. This ain't about just being humble and shit, man. Being nice is about being arrogant. Feeling like you're the best in the fucking world. The humble motherfuckers, it's too nice. They not confident enough. Confidence is what you gotta have to be a star in boxing. And these boxing fans are so soft. I made a video going at Canelo. I got hyped and was yelling and talking shit. 
And motherfucker was like, why are you yelling? Why are you cussing so much? I can't. Now nah, shut the fuck up. This boxing. This gladiator sport, buddy. We talk shit. And this is why I'm so frustrated with Eddie Jern. Nigga like a germ, dog. You feel me? I looked up in the news, I see this germ. Just hyping the people up, bringing the people hopes up, then taking them back down. I already gave up on the fight, bro. Go look at one of my old videos. My views get stuck on a lot of my videos. You can watch a video of mine a hundred times and that motherfucker gonna stay at 58. Some of them move, some don't. But at the end of the motherfucker day, man. And boxing just dying because of, you know, the germ. And uh, even Eddie Hearns fans, man, it's, it's crying right now, man. You know, they like, shit, I don't give a fuck about it. They talking about Khan. They talking about other fighters, man. They ain't talking about Anthony Joshua, man. Anthony Joshua was a disappointment to everybody, man. But to the people that understand how important the heavyweight division is, he's a bigger disappointment. You feel me? The UK fans is overlooking. What Eddie Hearns is doing. That's cool. But everybody else, man, is really getting affected by this, man. You know, it's just a spirit killer, man. Negative energy, you know what I mean? You know, and Robert Easter Jr., man, you need to make some more noise, man. All, and nothing in it, all these damn boxes. When you got a fight coming up, man, you need to be on social media every motherfucking day, bro. You, this is money. This is your promotion. This is hype the shit up, dog. Adrian Bronner used to do day in the life when you have a fight coming up, man. If you ain't got an HBO or all access, do your own all access every week. Get the fans. To know who you are, because the fans know who the fuck Mikey Garcia is. Mikey Garcia is on Ellie Setback show every day, dog, talking about everything but Robert Easter Jr. He is really looking over Robert Easter Jr. To me, it's looking like Robert Easter Jr. is a fighter that lost five fights. It's just a comeback fight for Mikey Garcia, one more fight or something. Man. He's thinking about bigger shit, man. Robert, you need to really be out here pumping this fight up, because Mikey Garcia show the fuck ain't pumping it up. You know, I'm trying to talk shit to you. I want you to come through and do your thing. I want to get a classic fight. I want to be fucking wrong. You know, I want to be wrong. But I'm thinking you finna get wiped the fuck out. You know, Robert Easter finna get wiped out. But that's a good fight that's coming up, man. And uh, Dylan White, man. I mean, I can't really respect Dylan White. You know, I don't give a fuck if you fight Joseph Parker. I can't respect him because he ain't fight Ortiz. You know what I mean? Like, they're watering down the sport, man. This is fucking Sean Porter, Danny Garcia fight coming up, and I'm not hype about it. This fight's a fucking year late. You feel me? This fight was supposed to be last November sometime. You know, I'm not hype about it. It was supposed to be in February. We were supposed to have this fight already. You know, it just the fear has fucked up the whole sport. And uh, shout out to Tyson Fury, uh, Deontay Wilder. If you listen to this, please don't accept the fight with Tyson Fury, man. I don't want to see that man in the ring and shoot yet. I want to see that fight at the right time, man. Because that's like, you know, saving something, man. That's something special. But this Anthony Joshua is not the real champion. He took a vacated champion from Val uh, Klitschko, who just took a loss, coming off a loss in a year layoff, and was 80 years old, goddammit. So, you know, Anthony Joshua is like CB4. He like Chris Rock, man. You know what I mean? He ain't the real MC Gusto, bro. He's a fake. He's a fraud. Tyson Fury is the real champion. You know what I mean? It's like Ali and Joe Frazier, bro. You know how they made that fight? That's how Tyson Fury and Wilder gonna do it. But I, I just hope they don't make it yet. Cause you know, Ali came back and fought Frazier in his second fight back and lost. You know, then he came back and beat him, you know? But the second fight back ain't enough time. You know what I mean? But great champions don't have no fear. And they ready to fight any time of the motherfucking year. And yeah, shout out to the UK. Shout out to my boy, Lennox Lewis, man. He beat some of my favorite champions. He beat them, man. You feel me? I like Riddick Bo. But Riddick Bo threw the belts in the motherfucking trash can. So, he beat him. That's a loss. You feel me? He beat Mike Tyson. That's a loss. He beat Evander Holyfield. Shout out to motherfucking Lennox Lewis. And Lennox Lewis will tell you better than anybody. Don't underestimate nobody. A heavyweight champion can lose any day against the worst competition. He even got knocked down before against Shannon Briggs. You feel me? So anybody can get their wig split in a heavyweight division. That's why it was important for Eddie Hearns to make this fight. You feel me? We don't give a fuck about Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua is a nobody to us. If he didn't have the belts, we'd be hyped that he's fighting for Beck. You feel me? But he got the belts. So he got to stand up like a man and be champion. Be king if you the king or if you a frog. And we finna take over your kingdom. 
I'd like to thank you guys for coming to Q City World. It's been a blast. Peace.